All right, I got the container home all set up to go. Again, this is a 40 foot long high cube. So nine and a half feet tall, eight feet wide. Let's go inside and take a tour. We have an extra special guest with us today. Richie Norton, you want to say hi? to our home today. Welcome in. Are you going to give us the official tour? What's going on in here? No, I'm going to let you do that. All I'm right. just here to like make, it make it look good? Look good. I like it. <laughs> All right, so kitchen space to the left, right when you walk in, living room, couch, rug. We have two bar stools here. The cabinet on the left are, is a faux cabinet. The one on the right does open. The left opens from the other side. But stone countertops, that kitchen sink I'll get into here in just a second. Floating shelves. MDF on the walls, tile backsplash. Full-size appliances. Wait, wait, show the people how these things open and close. Oh, you're doing? The cabinets? Yes. Yeah, go for it. Watch this, guys. They open like this. Uh, <laughs> Crazy. Boy, watch this. What? Soft close finishes, man. It works. Now I can't slam my cabinets when I yell at my that's kids. That's the downside. <laughs> that's the problem. So black stainless for the appliances from Samsung. Full-size range, full-size microwave. The sink itself is from a Chinese manufacturer called Fotile. And this is a dishwasher sink. So you wash your fruits and vegetables in the middle. In this section here. Cleans everything. And then on this, you hit that button, that bad boy pops open. That is so cool. And then you have enough for dishes for two or three people. Silverware holdings, cups, plates. This rack will also move down. And then I also can't slam this, but it closes on its own with the soft close. That is so cool. It's pretty sweet. So that's the kitchen area. Living room. You can see myself in the mirror. Perfectly placed. Totally normal. Who doesn't stare at themselves when they're in the kitchen? Totally normal. <laughs> <laughs> French doors. Twist and turn windows. Every window in the house opens. And they open two different ways. So regular functioning window. Right? All aluminum windows. And then when you twist up, wow. they just tilt open. I, I don't know, man. I'm like easily pleased, but this is just out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So cool. Love so every window in the house does that. We also have our security system in from Vivint. So we have a camera inside, door sensors, smoke detector, carbon dioxide detector, and then I have an exterior camera as well. But all of that is controlled from the panel and from your phone. Then we cruise down the hall to bathroom and bedroom. So here's the bedroom. Right now it has a queen size bed and a king size bed frame. So we're gonna change that out. And we're gonna do just a full size bed in here but to give you an idea of what, what that looks like right now. And then bathroom, regular flushing toilet, shower drain, rainfall shower head with extension handle, oil rub bronze, and then 20 inch vanity with the vessel sink. Then we wanted some of the vintage lights. We have the same thing in the bedroom there. And your towel rack. That's it, you guys. 320 square feet, one bedroom, one bath. Wait, there's more to it. What do you got? Well, it's cool. What Brian and I were talking about earlier is RVs are cool because you can move them around, do whatever you want. This could be on wheels if we needed to. But this is actually an entire house. Like, it has everything you need in it. It's small, but it's everything you would ever need. Whereas some other options might not have everything. It might be a weekend thing. You could live in this if you wanted to. Rent it out to make income Airbnb. But it's an 
it's a house that's nicer than most houses, just happens to be tiny. And that's the purpose. And uh, people are trying to figure out affordable housing options, this and that. We want to do too, but I don't think it's fair that people make affordable housing with really junk houses. <laughs> so we're making really nice houses that people can use, but they can afford it. Or make a ton of money renting them out. So there's a lot of options. What are other options people are doing with this, Brian? Rentals are huge right now because people want to use a small space. This is the average size of a hotel room nationwide. Hotel rooms are 300 square feet on average. This is just over that at 320 square feet. So most places are using them as rental properties. But for full-time living, a one, one bedroom, one bath is great. Uh, you can change up the design. You can fit two bedrooms in here and change the kitchen layout. This has a really big kitchen for a tiny home, so you don't need that much. But you can do a two bedroom, one bath in this exact same square footage. Well, you could, and let's say that you, you didn't have more room in your yard. Could you put one on top? Oh yeah. Making it a two story. Yeah. It could be twice this size. You can do two 40 foot containers. You can do a 40 foot with a 20 foot on top and an open deck for the other 20 feet. There's quite a few options when it comes to that. And you can also do that width wise as well. You can do two or three containers wide and have a 16 foot or a 20 foot space. Why is it interesting that this is in a, first of all, it's a new container, not a used container. And why a container? Why not just build it out of wood in any shape or size? So the container itself, I wanted one, I wanted the look and using a new container versus a used container is, especially after shipping these, I don't trust the manifest as to what's actually been shipped in the container. But there's a reason a shipping company stopped Won't using use it anymore. The yeah. If it was in such good condition, they're going to, they're going to hold on to it, right? You're not going to let go of an asset that makes sense and still makes you money. The other is I don't trust what's been shipped in it. Right. This also, from a structural integrity standpoint, has been cut and welded exactly to this engineered spec. The metal came in one side and the house came out the other. Yeah. For, okay, in a, in a regular, I don't know, container home that was used that you cut, would it have the structural integrity necessarily to have huge windows that open and close like this? In it? You, you can do windows. The problem is every time you cut metal out of a regular shipping container, you have to go back in and weld that in. With this... We didn't have to go through and cut holes. It was all specifically built to it this spec. Built with holes. So it was engineered it to deal. this. We didn't have to go back through because the steel was already in place of where it needed to and be. Look, we can make houses out of any material, any shape or size. Anyone can do anything. But why a container home specifically? Forget that it's brand new for a second. Why a container with this shape and size? So I wanted main level living. Tiny homes are great typically on wheels because you have a loft space that you live in. I wanted main level living without the loft spaces. But because this is nine and a half feet tall, it doesn't ever feel cramped. You still have plenty of height. That's true. I mean, there's there's I'm plenty of room. That. Yeah. That's amazing. So in here, because of the insulation we did with the R values at 19 in the walls and 35 in the floors and ceilings, the ceiling drops down uh, about six inches. So you wind up with eight and a half feet of standing room inside still versus the typical tiny home under a loft is 6'4". So and it, the fact that it's a shipping container means you can move this anywhere in the world, literally at any world, time, immediately. This was shipped originally by boat and then put on a train, shipped to Salt Lake from Long Beach, and then from Salt Lake to my house in Lehigh, was put on a flatbed truck, and then just rolled off the flatbed truck in my backyard. Need a police escort and wide load stuff. Nope. Nope. It's just here. Yeah. <laughs> it this is the future of having cool houses, small houses, affordable houses. Like, what's also interesting about making this house isn't just that it's made. How many can we make in the same time it takes someone else to make one, Brian? So when I was building tiny homes on wheels, it would take me an average of seven to eight weeks to build one home, right? So it would take three or four weeks just to get the trailer and then right. seven to eight weeks to build the house. With the container homes... It doesn't matter if it's one home or it's hundreds of homes. They can all be built at the same time. So we can literally deliver 200 homes we can make in the same order. In the same time, it would take someone to refurbish even yeah. one. And if you think about that, if you're a developer, let's just pretend for no, that it, it should be less expensive than doing it on your own. Let's pretend that it's the exact same price. You're talking about getting an entire development, 200 homes done in basically two to three months versus two to three years. Yeah. As this a, is huge. As opposed to doing everything in phases, right? Like a normal 300 home development is going to go in three phases. With this, 
you can, if you have the finances in place, you have the infrastructure in place, right? Like the lots are ready to go. Yes. You can bring them all in at the exact same time yeah. and sell them all at the it, exact same the, time. It's so exciting because it's hard for people to see the vision that we're, we're, we're in this, right? But if you can see the big picture that this isn't just a rental property, Airbnb in your backyard, even though that's cool, but this could change the face of the way houses are built and the way they're, the way they're done. For those that are interested in the style, it's, it's, a, it's a revolution. Like this is... No one's done it this way. It's exciting. It's awesome to be able to do it at scale, right? Like just building a home, having the design work out is phenomenal. But knowing that you can literally change the way the game is played is is awesome. It's it's a, people say game changer, and that's just a cliche, but it doesn't make it any less true that it's yeah. actually a real thing. You know? Yeah, it's it's absolutely happening. Yeah, and it'll so, be fun to show people it tonight for the first time. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Thanks. So if you're in the area, come check it out. Lehigh, check the link for Tiny and Prep. Peace out.